hello. I just finished a workout and I wanted to share with you a breakfast that I eat often that's really tasty, gluten-free, and um, also healthy. And this was based off of a bagel that our dear friend Alex Cooper of Call Her Daddy loves. And I did try it, but given my issues with dairy and gluten, not being my friends, I decided to healthify this and it's really good and it doesn't make my stomach feel terrible. So we're gonna make what I call a healthy Alex Cooper bagel. You ready? Okay. So I'm just gonna take you with me on my journey to get everything out of my kit, of my refrigerator. Don't mind the fridge. It's semi not in bad shape, but you can probably use some cleaning out. So I have already defrosted my gluten-free bagel. And you can really use any dairy-free cream cheese that you like or any dairy-free cheese. Um, so just to show you, here's the cream cheese that I use. And honestly, I just use any cream cheese. It doesn't really matter um, because you're, you're stacking it with other things. So just showing you the products real quick. I use this BioLife shredded cheddar cheese, dairy free. Um, and then I can show you the package. I use Udi's Everything Bagel. This is key because Alex Cooper's bagel is an everything bagel. So you wanna get that in the freezer section of your grocery store. Not every grocery store has it, but you can look up Udi's online and find out where they're located near you. And then I also use Applegate uncured Sunday bacon. So those are the ingredients. And let me, I need to get a plate. I'll show you my hacks along the way. Okay. So, I get out a plate. And I'm taking, this is on backwards because my husband obviously did this. Um, take three sections and I'm just gonna fold it halfway over. And I'm gonna take out a piece of bacon. And I'll make sure my hands are clean. Okay. Clean hands, touching raw meat, very important. So I'm just gonna take off one piece of bacon. And I'm gonna lay it like so over the edge of the folded over. And then I'm gonna fold this end over, one and then two. So now, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes and 10 seconds on high. To me, that is the perfect, um, that is the perfect amount of time to make it just crispy enough and not overdone. So now I'm gonna take out my bagel, which is already defrosted. Get a knife, butter knife. And you don't wanna look at me, you wanna look at the bagel. So I'm gonna take the bagel and I'm just gonna use the knife to go around it. This is virtually almost impossible when it's frozen. So I always have one defrosted and ready to go. And in case I didn't mention it, I'm just gonna use half. Really, that's plenty, that's all you need. And then I literally, and that's what it looks like on the inside, I just go about putting it into the toaster right away. 
I'm gonna take you over here and I'm gonna get out two key items. Everything but the bagel, the best. And lots of people make this. This is the Trader Joe's version and it's actually getting toward the end, but it's still usable. So get that ready. And then just some extra, well, yeah, extra virgin olive oil to cook with. All right, so you hear the microwave's gone off, so that doesn't, we can just keep that in there for right now. So I'm just gonna open the microwave and close it so it doesn't keep making the annoying boink. Bell noise. All right, then we need eggs, right? I forgot about the eggs. So you want, okay. Move you back up. So, let me just share with you. She only uses one egg in hers, which makes it neater, but I like the extra protein because eggs are not very much protein in just one. I think they're six grams of protein in an egg. I use USDA Organic. It has to have that label on it. Even if it says cage free and all of that, it has to have the USDA Organic to be cleared for, um, chickens that are raised in cage-free healthy environments they're fed well so only the humane eggs and the way they're raised are given this organic stamp so if you watched any of those documentaries they're a little scary and so i do get the organic eggs so i have two so anyway we have our pan have our two eggs. The bagel is in the toaster oven. And key ingredients, you need a lid for your frying pan, spatula, and here's a trick. I'm just gonna fill up this with like four ounces, half a cup of water. And I really just eye it up when I use it. So right now, I'm gonna turn the stove on to just, I can't really see that, hold on. So it's right below medium and every stove is different. I mean, every stove is different. So you're gonna want to just use like a medium or right below medium because you don't want them cooking really fast. So as soon as you feel your pan is warm, just crack open your egg. There we go. So I have to dig out a shell. I just take the little spatula and try not to burn myself. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna do our second egg. Ah, doesn't look like any shells in this one. You wanna take the water and just, oh, I cracked one. Okay, that's fine. You're just gonna take the water and fill it up like a little bit. I think I used, I don't even know, not half a cup, like two ounces of water maybe. So you're gonna let that sit. You're gonna pop your toast, your bagel down, however you like it. If you like it burnt, if you like it barely toasted, you just wanna get that going. I'm gonna get ready to start the bagel. So I'm going to take the bacon out and I'm going to bring you over here. I just did this great Usher workout on my Peloton app and it was a dance cardio and it was so much fun. Um, Because I used to do uh, Les Mills body dance. So I used to dance all the time and then I moved, I wasn't near a class anymore, and I no longer belonged to a gym after COVID and I work out at home. So then I got a Peloton, and the Peloton app is so great because it has literally every kind of workout you can think of. Um, unless you're like me and you just collect workout apps, which I also love Katie Austin. She's the bomb. There's so many others too, Love Sweat Fitness. Um, okay, that's the bagel. I'll stop yapping now. So let's get with the bagel, pull that out, try not to burn yourself. Ooh, ah. So this is about how I like my bagel. There we go. 
So first you're gonna layer it with the cream cheese. I don't measure. Ow! Try not to burn yourself. All right, I'm burning myself. This cream cheese is a little thicker, like it doesn't spread as easily. Um, I'm trying to think of the other vegan cream cheese that I like a lot, but put on just as much as you want. This is not spreading well, and I'm burning my fingers off, so just we're not going to be too perfectionist about it. I do like to cover up the little burnt areas. Then take your cheese. Uh, okay. So the reason that I make my fried eggs like that, or my over easy eggs, is it's easier. You don't have to flip them. You don't have to watch them so much, and it basically steams in there. So I just spread out my cheese. I'm gonna take out the bacon. So you can see the bacon. It's crunchy, it looks good. And Applegate is also really good quality bacon. Um, again, I just certain, certain things, meats, cheeses, eggs, as I've gotten older, things just bother my stomach. So I just flake it on top like that. So you're going to see, hopefully, that it's starting to get like a little film on top and it's going to start to bubble a second. Now that one is a broken yolk, which is actually going to work out great when we're piling it up. Okay, so you see how it's bubbling? Don't worry, you can just like let out a little bit of steam, move it around a little, because you wanna make sure that this one is done. And it's not quite done yet, so we're gonna just let that cook a little longer. And I usually move my pan around so it evenly cooks. I think we're good, let me just look. So let's put this baby together. Okay, so you're gonna take this cracked one because it's gonna make a base for you. And you're just gonna layer on top. Any extraneous yolk, just put that on top. And even if it's not pretty, it's gonna taste really good. Because the trick is to have it all on top of it, if possible. If not, put it on the side, it's fine. Now we're gonna sprinkle the everything but the bagel on top. And um, sometimes I will put the lid from the egg frying on top of here to melt the cheese more. That's the one thing about vegan cheese that I found is like the shreds, they don't melt as well as regular cheese. So, I mean, you could do this. Now, I've already put the everything but the bagel on top, but you can literally put, just sit this gently on top, like so, and it'll steam in for you. So, while we're waiting, we're just gonna let that sit for a couple minutes. Okay, let me show you something else that I do. Always multitasking. So, <laughs> I am going to be 53 soon, and I'm in that menopausal stage, a lot of fun. So, I, during this point, will take out my vitamins, and just for kicks, I'll just show you what they are. This is my multivitamin. Sorry about the glare. It says 50 and wiser women. You have to take four a day. Getting older is very expensive, let me tell you. What I spend in vitamins and supplements is insane, but I feel better. Mood pills, no explanation needed. Because you, I don't wanna take any hormone replacement I just don't want to do that to myself. Like this is black cohosh. I remember my mom using this when I was a kid. And you take one, you take one twice a day. And I am not um, like sponsoring any of this or like telling you to use it. It's just what I use. 
This has been really helpful. And this is the Hum Ripped Rooster. It's like supports fat burn. And honestly, it is harder as you get older and you're in this stage of life to lose weight. Like weight sticks to your body, especially your midsection. And I found that this actually is helpful in that area. And I don't feel like a lot of fat burners I've tried. And I haven't tried like a slew of them, but I've tried a couple. A lot of them make me feel jittery. They really make my stomach upset, which is a major problem. So we don't like that. Turn on more light. So we don't like that. And this stuff actually is fine. I have no issues. This is also twice a day. I take this before I eat. This is a digestive enzyme and it's good for everyone. It just helps with, um, it's got fast acting, fast acting probiotics. And this one's not super expensive. I take one before every meal, It'll just help with digestion. Again, your stomach changes so much. Your gut changes so much when you reach the stage of life. And it's been doing this for, I don't know, three, three years, four years. Um, vitamin D3. This is because you need exposure to sun. And I don't um, get as much exposure to sun as I used to especially in the winter. Omega-3 fish oil. Yeah, I know, right? This is a lot. Um, let's see. Green tea extract also helps with digestion and fat burn and um, hormones. It helps with menopause. So you take three a day. And always, every day I take four of these elderberry um, immunity gummies. Every day. So, I was entertaining you. I was waiting for the bagel to hopefully have the cheese melt a little bit more. Let's go look at it. matter if it falls apart because it is delicious. Mm. It's so good. One more bite for you guys. And this really doesn't take long to make because I was showing it to you guys, it's like 10 minutes. And it's so healthy and yummy and filling. Mm. Mm. So good. So you're going to see a trend with me making things that are fairly easy, quick, and like healthy because who needs to see me making like ordering a pizza, right? But this is a really good breakfast idea and um, it's really great after a workout because it's got protein and carbs and it's just yummy. So I hope you make yours. Let me know if you like it. Have a good day.